There we go. There we go. We are live. Hey, guys. How you doing? This is Charles. CMJ Live. And it is Friday. And yes, that stuff outside is snow. So please drive carefully. I know everybody's all frantic and about snow and stuff and like the weather and they're complaining about the weather. So I said, you know something? Let's make it easy for you and let's make it great for you. So I brought somebody here from Jampro, <laughs> Jamaica. So maybe, you know, hopefully you can bring the warmth. We're going to heat up the place. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show. Please, Vivian Scully, thank you so much for coming into great. the show, Thanks my for friend. Having me, Charles. All right. So listen, you got here, okay? Yeah. The weather's not that breeze. <laughs> The weather, the weather wasn't that bad. Once I dug myself out this morning. <laughs> and and uh, funny enough, everybody's always worried about the first snow and how big it was going to get. Right. It snowed for about, what, 20 minutes and just stopped. Did it? So all that, all that you worry. You must live in a different area than I do, Chad. <laughs> because for me, it was snowing all night. All night? <laughs> so you so you seriously had to shovel this morning? Yeah, I think we had like about five centimeters. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I guess I guess I, I can't even see the car. It was that bad? No, 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 but uh. it was only half covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so let's get down to the nitty-gritty. If people don't know who you are, I always like to get some background from you, okay? So where were you born and raised? Oh, man. I didn't know you were going to go that Oh, man, far. We, we, deep, this is, we, we dive in. This is CMJ Live. We don't just bring special guests on and not know who you are, so we dive in. All right, let, let, me, let me give the... the important thing first okay i'm with jam pro i've been in canada for about three and a half years yeah we're promoting investment and trade okay to north america You're from right here and it's been going good we've had some good um numbers on the both investment and trade side mm -hmm. um and we're looking to engage more persons towards okay. that goal now in terms of where i'm from and where i was born and all of that yeah. stuff it has to be on the rock, right? Because so I'm, I'm representing Jamaica. That's right. There we go. I'm from St. Catherine. Okay. Old Arbor in St. Catherine. That okay. was where I was born. And I went to St. Catherine High School. See, now right there, the reason I ask everybody, yeah. you got you to big up the school. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right there, we got we got thousands of viewers from you know Jamaica, and they always want to know, all right, wh which side is he representing? It's only the high school of the current prime minister, <laughs> if that makes <laughs> a difference. Because <laughs> you know what I mean? They, were, you, were you a cricketer? Were you a footballer? You would never guess. I, I um, tried out for all of those. Okay. And eventually I made the rugby team. Rugby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, look, like my engineer's like, like yeah. my engineer's looking at it like, really? <laughs> I'm like half the size of a normal rugby player. Yeah. But yeah, St. Catherine High School was the number one school in rugby. And they probably are to this to the point in time. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. We were like a pioneer in starting the sport in right. Jamaica. And we used to clean up. Yeah. Yeah. See, the, the reason I'm asking this question, so people, when you're talking about it, they know, okay, this man knows the real deal, you know, everything is about Jamaica. Because then I wanted to bring you on because it's, we're almost in 2018. Right. And a lot of people are looking for that new investment, that new product or something new or what's happening to, to start <laughs> investing in and look to the future and right. know what's happening. So I thought, listen, the best way to do this is bring the main man in himself so you can tell us what's really going on. All right, we appreciate it. All right, so let's let's start off what right off the bat. What can we look for in 2018? Um, I think you can for Jamaica. We're on an upward spiral. Um, the last couple of years has been a turnaround for the economy. Okay. And although it's been a slow churn, the numbers have been positive. Okay. We have a very motivated team behind um, ensuring that a number of the hurdles are being cleared and we have some very aggressive targets set for the country. Um, you may have heard about the five in four target, okay. which is to deliver a 5% growth um, in four years. Okay. <clears throat> um, we're probably close to halfway there in terms of um, the time that goal was set. Mm -hmm. And we have seen early indications of an upward tick Right. And of course, we're looking to see more growth in 2018. Okay. So, what is the main generation of economy for Jamaica right now? So, there, you know, back in the days, everybody, you know, growing up with my father and telling me it was, it was cane, there was this, there was that. What is the push right now? 
All right, so the traditional um, areas are still doing well. Okay. Sugar is still you know, a big export crop in Jamaica. Right. Um, mining as well with um, aluminum and bauxite on the upturn again after you know a, down, a downturn after the 2007. Okay. Um, tourism numbers are still strong. Still strong on that, and Of right? course, remittances, which we always as a country are grateful for, or diaspora overseas okay. ensures a constant flow of um, remittances to their families back home right which you know as they say one one cocoa makes the basket <laughs> in jamaica right um this has contributed significantly to our inflows of uh, foreign exchange as well as tourism okay which is the lead player <coughs> all right so then for for a person like me that's looking to invest or do something different like what's changed i i've seen um you know, years of going to Jamaica, technology starting to take over, right? Right. And, and technology is everywhere. Okay. What is the difference that you're seeing now? All right. So, <clears throat> interesting. You mentioned technology as a starting point because um, I went through um, and listed a number of areas where, because you wanted to talk about small business, right? Areas where persons should look at, and technology business is actually one of those. Um, this has been identified as a great priority for the country. Okay. Um, and so a number of, and you asked about what has changed over the last couple of years. Yeah. A number of government agencies have been placed in their interactions with um, clients okay. online. So you can now um, pay all your taxes in Jamaica online. Right. And that, trust me, that has been a significant um channel for inflows to the government because it was always long lines at the tax office and <laughs> yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Right. Now companies, businesses can do all their transactions online. Okay. The government itself has created a portal, a dot gov portal. Okay. <clears throat> where in one place you can go and access all you know or connect to all the different government services. <clears throat> Okay, so now uh, if you so go we on, now have our own domain. You have your own d- .jm. Okay, so then that, that that's helping to because alleviate the time and yeah. energy of getting things done, so the money can flow differently through Jamaica back yeah. and forth. You don't okay. spend time in as much lines. There are still lines, of course, but yeah. you don't. That I think that has half significantly. Okay. The other area is in terms of registering a business. Okay. That used to take you a good two weeks. Yeah. I can assure you it's down to like three, four days okay. at most. Okay. And if you have all your ducks lined up, you can register a business in a day or two in Jamaica. And, and, and that was the problem. A lot of people want to go and start up a business, but it was the hesitation of, okay, this is going to take a while, do everything. And a lot of them don't want to fly down to Jamaica. Right. Waste the time to come back and then not have everything finished. Right. Now everything is just... Yeah. So you can go on that. We're, we're getting there, and you asked about what's going to be new in 2018. Yeah. In 2018, we're going to have the process fully online where you can register the business online. Brilliant. Right okay. now, um, we say to persons, do your research. All the information is online. Download your forms. Mm-hmm. Get them completed before you go okay. because you still need to present them. Yeah, the documents and all that stuff. Right? Yeah, but what has changed instead of two weeks, yeah. you can get it the next day. Brilliant. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then, and that will just save a lot of infrastructure. Now, what what happens with the uh, areas now for selling? So, for example, I want to open up a business. I got all my paperwork, but going down and finding the right spot. How does that take now? Is that taking to find the right location as well? All right. <clears throat> it helps knowing, like any business, location, location. Yeah. That's important. Right. If you're into retail or wholesale businesses, you want to make sure you find the, the ideal spot um <clears throat> there are a number of options available okay um because there has been you know an increase in commercial build out across the island um usually you know it was just a few centers in <laughs> yeah, kingston right um no there are new shopping centers opening up in portmore mandeville montego bay okay significant increase in retail space mm-hmm. i would Encourage persons to do your search through uh, a real a real estate company because oh, okay, they have okay. all the listings right. available to them, and it's gonna significantly cut your time in terms of 
you know, checking out individual towns or, or locations yourself. Okay. Like anywhere, use a realtor. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> yeah. Now, and Jampro also helps well, that's in that regard. That, that's <coughs> a, I was just about to get to that. that While question. we're not um, majoring on the retail side, yes. if, there, if there's a need for commercial space, whether right. it's for manufacturing, um, office space, warehousing, right. you can get that information through our office. Okay. Uh, starting with us here in Toronto and then uh, through the office in Kingston. Okay, and uh, you have a, Jampro has a website. Yeah. Okay, well, tell everybody what the website is. Um, it is... Are we, going to, <laughs> are we going to this one or... Because I don't want to give them... Yeah, ja it's Trade and Invest. Okay. Jamaica.org. So, all right, so it's Trade and Invest Jamaica.org. That's Trade and Invest Jamaica.org. Go there and it will give you some of the information we're talking about. Yeah. You can also go online there as well. Okay, and then what people fail to understand though is that your office is here in Toronto. Yep. So a lot of people when they you know when we talk about it, they don't know that you are on the ground. You're you're here. Yeah. You know what I mean, I just <laughs> dug myself out of the snow. <laughs> exactly. <I'm here. laughs> you're, you're actually here because a lot of times when people are thinking about it, they think you're not here, right? Right. So when we come back, we're gonna pay some bills in the commercial. When we come back, we're gonna dive into a lot more of the things they should look for for 2018. Okay, All right? great. You're watching CMJ Live. We'll be right back. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. When you know your purpose, you know your function because the function dictates the purpose. It's not talking about what color this thing is. Life is about a function. And only when you function do you see purpose. This is where we live, just here. What we think. We miss the human when we just focus on the black on the hand or the white on the palm. But my goal in life is to get people to understand your function. Let them feel their love. Let them know you. Let them know your struggle. So when we talk about community, it's talking about coming together, unity. All right, so once again, uh, we were just looking online f for the website, and it's a, it's a, a really easy, remarkable website. It's gov, so it's J, gov, G O V, <laughs> yeah, dot J M. So it's G O V dot J M, correct? Yeah, and okay. that's a gateway to all your government services um, for information, whether you're a diaspora looking for resident resident services, income tax returns, birth certificate property tax queries see that, that that's a that's a big one because you know i'm just going on you know my family what is a lot of time a lot of us have land and then the the zoning and all that we can get that on on this as well i take it yeah okay if you have your um the location number right um you can actually pinpoint exactly where that is on beautiful it, on beautiful that. and all you can look up the taxes that are outstanding and anyway. <laughs> pay them online as well <laughs> make sure you have a clean slate the clean slate start all over yeah. okay so before we went to break we, we talked about technology okay yeah uh we talked about technology and what's coming up and everything what else should we look for if we're looking to invest and looking for new things <clears throat> all right so what i usually what we usually say to persons when they um engage us you know if they at the moment don't have uh, an idea what they want to invest in right we usually encourage persons to work from your strength. What's your background? 
where are you most comfortable and and um, carve out from there because okay. you don't want to get involved in a business that you know really nothing little about, right. about. Um, and so that's usually where the discussion starts mm -hmm. um, in terms of pointing persons to different areas <coughs> um, just generally tourism is the is one of the main areas of focus in Jamaica right because we have so many visitors coming in right, right. and where there is people services it's are required ne needed right <coughs> so if you're in the hot if you want to get into the hotel business <laughs> yeah. well, whether it's a huge hotel or if you want a mid-sized one yeah. or a villa down to an Airbnb okay because that's also a growing area now for persons who are looking for value on deals okay and not just in terms of pricing but people are looking for different experiences across different yeah parts I, I realize of the not, not everybody wants to stay in the hotel they <coughs> actually want to Right. visit Jamaica they want to get out there they want to see the land they want to do different stuff right so right. they're looking for value in one respect and mm. they're also looking for different experiences right and so that's been a growing area for persons with say a small um, investment capital okay. to go in they may already have a house there and especially with the diaspora market here right um, they have family who have willed them property mm. or Sometimes the property, the house or whatever is just there locked up. Yeah. This and is a the way be, they can create it's not a being revenue. Used. It's yeah. Not, it's just sitting there. Right. right. And they have to be paying taxes on property that you know they're not using. Right. Um, this is a way to um, turn that around okay. as well. <clears throat> and you, at the same time, you're creating employment, whether for persons who are going to be providing um, cleaning services or right. um, meal service to the, the guests who are there. You know, there are many different aspects to it. And that's a simple thing to get into because okay. everybody knows how to run a household. Right. And that's what the guests want. Okay. A clean, comfortable place to sleep and um, tour the areas. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So if you build out from that, there are you know transportation services, attractions, restaurants. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what's your core. What's your niche. What, yeah. you, what you know of. Yeah, what do you know and feel more comfortable. Okay. And remember, you're going to be managing this investment from um, afar. Right. So you have to have support on the ground. That's right. If you're that's not right. going to be going and there that's, yourself. I'm, I'm glad that you brought that point up. It's true. You have to You have to think about it. Unless you're going to be on the island, Yeah. you really have to have a strong partner <laughs> there while you work it here. And yes, we all know that you can all do everything through Skype and technology, but there's certain decisions and certain things that have to be made when somebody's there. Yes. yes. Okay. And you want to do your research. Make sure you check out, you know, the environment and you know you have all the support services that is going to make your business run well right okay so a visit is definitely definitely necessary yes uh, whether you decide to go spend one week two week or you combine it with a vacation you go down you scope out while you're having fun right and then you build your business plan and take it from uh, there from there okay um so yeah so that's just one area mm -hmm. um there is the construction business if you're into construction yes um, there are many persons here who are into that already. Right. That could be an extension of your 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 business okay. here as well. Or if not, you have land there. You can engage with a developer to build out property. Okay. Because there is a large demand for housing in Jamaica. Okay. And interestingly, Jamaica within the Caribbean is one of the islands where you can acquire property for the least cost per square foot or square meter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you were to, I mean, land is is, is not growing. It's, right. it's fixed, R right. right? And so if you make an investment in a property in Jamaica, it's going to um, continue to grow over time okay. as an investment for you. Um, there have been a number of also developers in Jamaica mm -hmm. who are selling homes right. to the diaspora market. Um, they buy them for vacation properties. They buy them for rental use. Right. And if you think of it, all you need to find is a deposit to secure the property. Right. And then you can leverage that as a rental property okay. as well. That's later right. On. See that that's that's a great idea. That's uh, I'm thinking about like you're saying. So you look at all the developers right now they're building beautiful homes and, and nice new locations yeah right so why wouldn't you not work with them so you know it's getting um, built properly and like you said 
invest in one, and then there is your investment in your business to keep going. To keep growing. To keep growing. And okay. you, you have two, two investments, right? You, you've secured a property, which right. is going to uh, Which is going to grow. in value. Right. And you're tapping into a market which is growing. Our tourism numbers have been you know, scaling tremendously over the last couple of years. We're up to like 3.5 million wow. visitors now per year. Okay. Half a million of them are uh, close to half a million coming from Canada only. Okay. So that's, <laughs> yeah, when you look at it, then, you know, you go by ratio by numbers. Yes. Right? So you have to top into that market. Okay. So we have, Air, so far we, we've learned about the Airbnb. We yeah. heard of construction. Okay. And then we look at, you know, um, new things that you can go uh, online. Now, if you're looking for a new business, you got gov, gov.jm. All right. So you can do things faster, go online and, and get all your things up to speed. Yes. Okay. So yes. what else is going on? <coughs> all right. So... That was just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All if right. you're into the logistics business, yes, Jamaica is well poised. Okay, we already service um, major traffic coming out of the Panama Canal. Okay, we're like a hub for the rest of the Caribbean. Right. So if you are into any kind of business that moves product mm -hmm. or transportation. This is a good place to set up shop. Oh, okay. Jamaica has been promoting itself as a logistics hub right. for um, the last couple of years, and it's not without um, reason. Okay. We have one of the deepest harbors um, in the world, um, in the port of Kingston, okay. which is currently being um, increased in terms of capacity to accept larger ships okay. coming through the larger Panama Canal. And that's going to increase the freight in and out of the country and the rest of the Caribbean. It's an English-speaking country. It has the largest population within of English speakers in the Caribbean. Right. In fact, within the Western Hemisphere, Jamaica is the third largest English-speaking country. Okay. Behind Canada and the United States. So... Um having your workers there having people that can talk to your customers it's it's, it's set it's yes. set for what you need okay and now how many offhand how many ships you would say go through you know i'd have to get back to you on the numbers on okay that, but well we no roughly because <laughs> i'm not talking and the reason I'm, I'm asking that question just to give somebody a rough idea yeah i remember when i uh was staying at mango walk okay right. looking down every other day was a new cruise ship that came in yeah every other day so if you think about the amount of people i'm just trying to show people numbers you know roughly in their head okay yeah if you look at a cruise ship that holds about minimum 1500 okay mm -hmm. uh, or even more depending on the size on the size, uh, the, size the largest there. ships in the world are, are docking in falmouth okay so there yeah. you go so they they hold like Last time I was like 3,000, 4,000, 5. It's a football stadium. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the amount of people that dock there every other day, those are we your. We have a million people yeah. coming on, just on cruise ships per year into Jamaica. Just on cruise ships alone. Just on, on cruise, cruise ships, ships alone. Within three ports Montego Bay, Ocherius, and um, Falmouth. Okay. So that just. I'm, I, <laughs> and that's half the population of the country. Right. Roughly so I'm, half. I'm just giving <laughs> my viewers the idea of the potential, yeah, the the potential of business. Even if it's four, because when the cruise ships come in, they, they dock for sometimes a day, two days, two days. or sometimes, depends on where they're going, if the weather's bad, they stay longer. Right. So you have a minimum of a million people throughout the year mm -hmm. of potential customers. Yeah. And that has created a number of spill-off businesses as well. Okay. Short-term tours. Yes. Persons want to go visit a, you know, a jerk <laughs> seasoning farm or right, a sugar right. Plantation it's some, or something rum. to add. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. To okay. Taste the best coffee. Right. All kind of um, attractions. There's, there's, are, are there's, there's many, well. and, and the reason I'm saying this, just to let everybody know, there is many, many opportunities yes. in Jamaica with the amount of people that are coming in. You you just have to find the right niche niche for it, the right thing that people are looking for when they get the Definitely. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna take a quick break. And when we get back, I want to dive into some more because I see you have a long list. And I want to make sure we get through everything. It's it's, hey, no, but the thing is, people need to understand, right, that there is always investment. Yeah. Right. And uh, the thing that I'm trying to push is, why not invest into your own? And what I mean by that is, you, you're from Jamaica. Your parents are from Jamaica. You have roots and background from Jamaica. Why not invest 
back into your own because then it's just going to thrive for the next generation yeah. if I look to invest in Jamaica my parents are from there we invest I'm leaving a legacy and something for my kids right. so and, that's and the interesting thing. Is, thing is that a number of these um, projects you can do from afar right remotely from here right all right so we'll be right back you're watching CMJ live we'll be right back Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity and our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team can help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties Team, powered by Remax West. All right, and we're back with my special again, Vivian from Jam Pro. All right, and we're going to dive into one of the big ones. I don't want to make sure that you're out of time and this one I know speaking with you speaking with Gerald big shouts out to Gerald big shouts out to Philip you know we talk about this a lot this is a big one so let's dive into this one all right so we, we touched on it um, <clears throat> sometime in the break and it's agriculture right so let's head right in okay agriculture is one of the um, significant earners of foreign exchange for the country as well and it's only in its infancy at the moment Jamaica is known for its um, jerk seasoning and its jerk sauces, and you can find them mostly everywhere. Right. Um, Caribbean persons shop. Um, but that leaves a significant portion of the market which is still untapped, which okay. is in the main chains and retail stores. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and, and those tend to coalesce in the urban centers. Okay. And so there is significant opportunity to distribute products outside of the, the main um, grocery stores or Caribbean person's shop. Right. Um, because everybody knows about jerk and yeah. um, the seasoning, right. the spicy flavors of the Caribbean and especially Jamaica's. Right. Um, outside of that, there are crops which um, can be grown. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned sugar earlier, but um, the non-traditional crops, um, coffee, okay. um, um, root crops, yams, potatoes. Okay. The diaspora market is so large. Mm -hmm. um, outside of Jamaica, there are more people living that are connected to Jamaica that are living in the country. And okay. these persons um, yearn for products they can get back home. Okay. And they can't be found everywhere. Right. And a lot of times in limited numbers. So there is an opportunity there for persons who have experience or knowledge of product distribution. Okay. To import products from Jamaica into their home country, mm -hmm. whether it be Canada or the United States, and create a business around um, supplying stores okay. with products. So In fact, merging that with technology, right. there are actually a few persons um, who are selling products from Jamaica online. Okay, that's what I see. Now, those are the things that we want to get into, because that, that's, that's big for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's it's helping the market, and like you said, a home business that you can you can watch here, work with a company down there to really help and push their products. Yes, that it is a two way. Okay, yes. Yes. so tell tell us a little bit more about that. So if you have you know experience in setting up an online store, mm -hmm. 
or you can secure <coughs> um, the talent of someone who does. Right. It's usually a low-cost way of getting into retail. Okay. Because without creating a physical storefront where you're paying, you know, right, two, right. three thousand dollars in rent mm -hmm. per month. Right. You can do it for a few hundred dollars. Okay. And promote that website online. Right. You only need to secure storage for the products. Mm -hmm. And um, North America is awash with um, reliable ways of moving product, um, whether through the various couriers. Right. And you can start a business just out of the box like that. Okay, so here's the, here's the one question. Everybody is, is asking, and we're online. I'm going to get to some of their online questions right now. Um, is, is whatever ideas we have, and we want to get into something like this, is JamPro here to help us lead us in the right direction? Uh, what is the role of JamPro to help us get started with these? All right, so where we provide support is um, identifying suppliers and just walking persons through the process of export okay so if you determine that you want to work with um, spices or sauces yeah. you can line up a number of suppliers okay. who you can work with um, there are always new products coming on stream right because some of the older products already have their have their, they have their market they have their, their market stuff. and their distributors right but there are new products coming online which persons can um, get that information through us okay um, there's also um, the service of if you wanted to register your business in Jamaica as an exporter, okay, we can provide you um, with that service as well through our offices. Okay, um, if you are much larger and mm -hmm. if you're already in the business of wholesaling products and you want to go down to scope out different suppliers and sources of products, mm -hmm. we can arrange inward missions for you. And we've done that with a number of distrib distribution companies here. Okay, so you set up the meetings in Jamaica so everything runs smoothly yeah. to get back. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, the time is limited. You right. want to go in and make sure you maximize your time. Right. We do all the pre-work for you. So in two or three days or mm -hmm. a week, you can see a broad cross-section without having to you know, go figure it out yourself. Okay. All right. Because that's the business we do, facilitation. Right. So now if they want to get in touch with you, uh, it's... a. Uh, yeah, our office is at the consulate. Okay, so that is um, 303 Eglinton Avenue East, second floor in Toronto. All yeah, right? or you can call us um, on the phone, 416-932-2200. Okay, so that's 416-932-2200. And the office is located, once again, at 303 Eglinton Avenue East on the second floor. Uh, when you go in the building, uh, you let the lady know at the front desk that you're going to see you and they will call in and buzz you up. Yeah, you're okay. here to talk to the business section within the consulate. Okay, so here, here's the thing, because I don't want to waste your time, I don't want to waste their time. Before they come see you, right? Yeah. You know, you can have these great ideas, like you say, you know, you know I want to do this, I want to do that, but what should they bring with them before they come see you? You know, as or should I... They, or sorry to cut you, or should they we just call you first and, and, <coughs> and, and get it done there? Sometimes it helps to make a call if you're not sure, okay. because we we are there to serve um, anyone, okay. everyone, depending on it, regardless of what stage you're at. And sometimes persons may have a, an idea that they want to get into business X, mm -hmm. but with a quick conversation you realize, hey, but you have you're working at you know in a different industry. Okay, why not think about this? And they say, oh yeah, why didn't I think about that before? Right, and so that helps you know. To save some time on you but what's also important is that you think through what you're going to be doing right and create uh some sort of a mini business plan in okay. your head it, it could be just on one page right but just write down what your thoughts are what numbers you're looking at the you points. know yeah okay. how is this how do you think this is going to work for you right and um for budget is for one right how much yeah. you're going to invest um, what is the business? What is your idea of the business? Yes. All right. So just don't say, okay, I'm going to open a store. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to sell? What kind of store? Is it a, a fabric store, a grocery store? Are you looking to, to bring Where in products? Where are you going to source products? Where are you going to source the products? Right. <coughs> Have at least uh, a business plan ready and ready to go before you come up. Because I know you guys are always there to help, but you guys can't help unless they help themselves first to, to gain the knowledge to step forward. All right. All right. On an average, how long does it take to get a full business running? A small business. Let's think of it as a small business. So people can have a timeline on, yeah. on the frame. 
if you have everything lined up, you know, like anywhere else, you can start a business reasonably in good time, two to three months. Okay. Yeah. And then that's if you have everything in place, lined up, your money is in place. Yeah. And you have a business plan. I mean, registering the business is the easiest part. Right. Which that's, we found out. It's, it's fast and Yeah, right? less than two days. So okay. you get that out the way and you secure your location mm -hmm. or you secure your supplier contracts. Right. And it's as easy as, you know, placing an order if you're going to be importing products mm. or if you're looking to um, open up a physical space um, once you identify it the business model and then the, the key things to make business work it's marketing and right. sales so here's a question I'm, I'm just looking on on the social I'm, I'm asking all my questions but one of the questions on the social is do you have to be a resident of Jamaica to open a business absolutely not okay so, so um, whether you're a resident or non-resident Jamaica is one of the easiest places to do, open a business okay in, in the entire Caribbean mm-hmm in fact, we are the number one in the Caribbean and probably like number three in the entire Latin America. Wow. Okay. So opening and starting a business. All right. There are no um, exclusions in terms of owning property. Um, unlike in some other countries where it has to be a local person along with an overseas person. Right. Okay. No, none of that. So then the, the, the opportunities are there to dive in. Okay. Yeah. One more before we go. We're almost out of time in this segment, but I want to dive into any other. I see you have, um, what else do you have? Housing. We talked about housing. What else is in there? Um, another era which is growing um, and also in the, somewhat in the technology sector is um, outsourcing. Um, our contact center business has been growing significantly. So there are pers North America is a huge um, country with expertise in running and operating contact centers. Right. And a number of persons usually a lot of times in their first job starts out in a contact center. Mm -hmm. So they see how it's run, they yes. understand um, the metrics, etc. Right. This is an opportunity also for persons who want to delve in that business. Our okay. contact center business has doubled over the last um, three years okay. in Jamaica, moving from about 12,000 to you know, close to 25,000 wow. persons employed in the sector. Okay. Yeah, so we move from like, 20 companies to about 50 companies right now and it's just scaling. The government is putting a lot of resources behind creating space for that right. and also support services in terms of training persons. Um, we just had a career fair in Jamaica Okay. Um, last week. I love BPO. Okay. We had over 1,500 um, high school students and also graduates turn up just to learn more about the sector and the opportunities that are there. Okay. All right, so we're going to take another break. But when we come back, I want to dive into uh, this one more time. Because what, what I like about it is the technology. Yeah. We all know that technology is booming. We're both on social media, our phones, getting like, all the information. It is. And this station is itself wouldn't it run without technology. So we're going to see how, when we come back from break, how we can merge everything together. One, to get the word out there. And two, to really push the business faster. All okay. Right? We'll be right back. purpose you know your function because the function dictates the purpose it's not talking about what color this thing is life is about a function and only when you function do you see purpose this is where we live just here what we think we miss the human when we just focus on the black on the hand or the white on the palm but my goal in life is to get people to understand your function let them feel their love. Let them know you. Let them know your struggle. So when we talk about community, it talking about coming together, unity.
<laughs> All right, hey guys, we're back, and we were just talking. You know, there's a lot of job opportunities, but I just wanted to ask Vivian because sometimes people are, are not business savvy. Right. Okay, they're not business savvy, and, and no disrespect to anybody out there, business is not for everybody. Exactly. Okay? But you do have the capital, and then you know that you know your your heart is into restaurants, for example. Yeah. Okay. And you know that you you've been to, say you've been to Jamaica. And there is an area and there's a new restaurant starting. Can you invest? Is there ways that we can invest into something? You know, we sit back, let them do what they do best, but we just invest into some of these businesses. <clears throat> Great. You've touched on a very important area, um, Charles, because we quickly recognized that um, by being here over the last couple of years that a large percent of persons in the diaspora um, in the Caribbean community. They have a passion to do business back home, right. but they don't necessarily have the means to get back there or the time, <laughs> right. but they want to do something. Yeah. And we've identified, well, there are two different ways. You can mm -hmm. either um, partner with someone right. and create equity okay. and, and invest in a business. Mm -hmm. That's one way. That's kind of risky as well because, you know, depending you, on how well the person right. knows you or, or does with the thing, right. you can go belly up on that right but the area that's doing extremely well mm -hmm. and where we would encourage persons to take a look at is the the stock exchange oh okay <laughs> the stock exchange for jamaica has been doing very well it is it has grown about 140 percent over the last two years jamaica has one of the fastest growing stock exchanges in the world and I say that without um, apologies. <laughs> now, we're definitely not the largest exchange. Right. But if you had invested $1,000 in the stock exchange in Jamaica two years ago, yeah. your return would be over 140%. Wow. In one year only, two years ago, we grew 80%. Right. And we've grown um, 60% in the last year only. Okay. <laughs> and what's the reason for this? Mm -hmm. Because it's not like Jamaica has you know huge company... But we have some very successful companies right. in Jamaica. Um, if you are here, you know about Grace Kennedy. Yes. So investing in Grace Kennedy stocks is a good thing because mm. you see the products everywhere. You can touch and feel it, and you know they're expanding in the market. Right. Um, and there are a number of other opportunities like those. You just need to study the companies mm -hmm. and invest in the ones you're familiar with, and you want to track their, okay. their returns. Right. The other aspect of the stock exchange, which has been creating huge value for investors is the junior stock exchange. So you mentioned earlier, if you saw, say, a restaurant or a company that you wanted to invest in, right? A number. It's difficult to raise funds in Jamaica because of the traditionally what have been high interest rates right. for them to borrow. Right. So the government created this feature called a junior stock exchange, okay. where companies can raise equity by going public on the junior exchange. They pay no taxes in, um, I believe, close to five or ten years, mm -hmm. which allows them to accumulate um, funds to reinvest in the businesses. Okay. And this is creating huge profit at the bottom line for these junior companies. Mm -hmm. And some very big companies have entered the junior exchange. Okay. For example, Lasco has been one of them. Okay. Um, and there's an upcoming offer, I believe, from um, Wisinko. Mm -hmm. who makes you know the bottle for coca-cola in jamaica they have their um bigger sodas yeah okay okay and yeah. they have um a number of other pro water which yeah. is quite popular in jamaica mm -hmm. and they're looking to export those products they okay. recently they acquired the largest orange juice um manufacturer in jamaica and okay. they are now putting out a range of orange juices as well mm, and okay. they're looking to push those into the export markets in right. fact they're in discussion with companies here in canada okay. to increase their distribution now they're going to be the largest offer on the exchange mm -hmm. they're looking um to raise a billion dollars on okay. the junior exchange okay and if that protects them in terms of bottom line for the next couple of years right your return on that investment is going to be significant okay yeah now how do we find the, is All there right. a certain areas? So the stock exchange, the junior stock exchange, where do we go? I'm going to plug my, my plug friend it, here. No. Plug it. Plug uh, it. <laughs> because we're interested. Like, this is what we talked about. This is why we brought you. Yeah. I know I, I know. right now, look, I'm, get, I'm getting dings and dings on things, okay? Fortunately for Jared's um, 
uh, a company, they have a, a base here, which is mm. Jamaica National. Okay. And they have a, a stock exchange unit okay. within um, Jamaica National on Eglinton. Okay. So you can physically go there mm -hmm. and set up an account and start your trade there. Okay. Now, if for whatever reason you want to choose another company, mm -hmm. there right. are many um, that are listed in Jamaica. Okay. And you can get a list from through our office okay. as well um, by calling us at the at the consulate. Okay. And you need to register with them first, mm -hmm. open an account, and then you can start your trades from you know overseas or wherever. You can send in a you know fixed amount every month, and right. you can determine the stocks you want to buy with your broker. Uh, okay. Okay. So then, this this is uh, um, new, or has it always been there? It has always been there, okay. but it has only begun to gain popularity in the last couple of years. Okay. The ever since the creation of the Junior Stock Exchange, mm -hmm. um, there has been huge successes for the companies that have entered through okay. that program. Now, after their their period of um, their non-tax period expires, they become um, listed on the main stock exchange. Gotcha. But okay. by then, they're much stronger. So this is basically to, to, to get your toe in the water, yeah. g gain momentum, and right. then really push forward. Right. So if someone is looking to invest and they do it smartly, they can get on, as they say, the bandwagon from now yes. before, before it blows up. It blows up. Okay. And there's a lot more intention. I just saw... a. Uh, uh, an article recently in mm. the newspaper that hackers are now targeting <laughs> the companies in Jamaica and right. primarily because of the success of the, the exchange. Okay. <laughs> the word is getting out that right. um, these companies are doing very well uh -huh. and investors are benefiting from it. Okay. And you're going to see more funds pour into that exchange over the next couple of years. Okay. So if you have uh, $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, yeah. now's the time to invest in that and see it grow. We'll see it grow. Yeah. Okay, so 416-932-2200. That's the phone number to call. Any other thing that you're that you're listening right now, you're getting you're getting excited, you're hearing about it. It's 416-932-2200. Or don't forget to go to 303 Eglinton Avenue East on the second floor, Buzz, and they will let you in, and then you know you can start your future because that's what it is. It's a start in the future. Yeah. Okay. Once you want to explore doing some business in Jamaica, right? And we have a huge campaign going on just to spread the word about opportunities in Jamaica. Right. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at JamProCorp which is the government's investment agency. Okay. And our hashtag on Instagram, dobizja, will pull up a lot of stuff for you. Okay, hashtag <laughs> do biz, biz, B -I -Z -J -A. J -A. All right, I'm going to make sure we're, we're plugging that because, you know, you've got to get the word out there. And then here's the funny thing that you said real quick before we have to go is partner up. Yeah. Right what I mean? You have, like, you know, good family members, strong family members and friends that always kept saying that you wanted to do some type of business, yeah. but you didn't know what it was. These are great opportunities to start something, to pull it back out later. Maybe you're looking to do a business here in Canada or in the States, but it's difficult. You need money to start. This is where you start. Build right. your capital, and then you have something to do. All right. And usually there's one person within your network who has, you know, a little bit more business savvy. Right. You may have the capital, two or three, or you can get together and create a business model. Right. Okay. So we have about a minute left in the, in the show, right? So before we go, is there anything you want to throw out there real quick that we haven't touched on? Um, we covered quite a lot here. Um, the, the only thing I want to leave persons with is... Um, Work with your strength. Okay. Um, think about where you can add value. Right. Um, create a mini business plan of what you want to do. Okay. And start. My, my my theme has always been you're not in business unless you're in business. Right. Because once you start, the opportunities open up and are, you know, you and then, become and then, endless. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm reading a little quick online and trying to do the interview. And what people need to understand, too, is more that we dive into our island the more flourish everybody will be. Yeah. You know what I mean? A strong it, tide lifts all ships. Right. It's a, it's a turnover. If we can, you know, dive back into what we believe in, our island, it will grow. Yeah. And it's, it's a longevity. And that's what the main thing we have to understand is it's going to be there if we all support. 
right? Because a lot of people are asking, you know, we give back to schools, we give back to nursing, we give back to all these different things. Is how do we do that? By investing. Yes. Right? By investing. All right. We have about 30 seconds left. You're on CMJ Live. And I don't know if you know the show. We call it, we do something called the shout out. Oh, So okay. this is your opportunity to win the award and shout out all your family and friends and everybody for watching. Oh, man. I just want to thank everyone <laughs> for <laughs> listening in. And feel free to reach out to us. Um, our offices are here in Toronto. And if you're in the U.S., we're opening an office soon in New York. We're going to also be at the consulate there um, at the beginning of 2018. Oh, I see you guys are doing well. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And that's what it's made about. Guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. And he's not going anywhere. So <sighs> make sure you call. Pick his brain. We can only pick his brain for so long. I know there's a lot of other questions you guys want to ask, but do call in, all right? Thank you so much. Be safe, and thanks for watching. You're watching CMJ Live. We'll see you next time.